Hey guys, as the name suggests, here to show you a few basic things to help you walk on a slack line. If you need to be shown how to put up a slack line, that's not in this video, that's in a video in the description below, so head down there, check that out. Um, so let's get started. First thing will be, not so much a how to, but just a don't do, is don't step on the buckle. So when you're walking on the slack line, slack line stops here, because obviously if you stand on the buckle, if something happens to it, might fling open, that's not going to be much fun. Um, so, first thing will be foot position. So what you want to do is you want to start, have your foot running long ways down the line. I would usually not wear shoes, but it is cold. Part of why we're inside, because it's disgusting outside. But anyway, um, what I generally say to people when they're first hopping on the line is stand one leg on the line, straight down the line, other leg as close as you can to the line, hands above your head, not out to the side, slight, about shoulder width apart. Keeps your center of gravity directly over the line, which is gonna make it easier to kind of sway with the line as it flows around a bit. One leg on the line, other one close to it, and then just press down with your leg on the line till you're just starting to lift yourself off the ground and then you can use your other leg just to touch back on the ground and keep your balance. The main thing you're gonna to need to overcome when you first start hopping on the slack line is just what it, I don't know, call it sewing machine leg. as your leg goes mental all over the place. And that's just going to be a muscle memory thing. You're just going to have to get on the line and get used to it, really. Um, so pressing down on the line. And then as you stand up a bit higher, you can just use that foot to kind of like tap on the other foot, help yourself keep balanced. And then the other foot. And you will find, um, say if your left leg's on the line, your right arm will want to go up, your left arm will want to go out, that'll make your right, right leg want to go out, and you start by doing this kind of star walk down the line. That's all right, that's progress. Start with that, and then after a period of time, you'll be able to keep your center of balance closer and closer over the top. And the other thing you want to think about when you're first getting used to jumping on the line is where you're looking when you're on the line. Now, the thing most people say, is look down the, to the fixed point at the end of the line, look to where you're going. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I don't know if this is just the way that I am, but I find looking about a metre and a half in front of me on the line is where, where it's comfortable for me. I don't know if it helps me respond to the way the line's moving. I don't know if it's just what I'm used to, but that's what I find. So, get out there and walk on some slack lines. If it helped you and you've got to the end, give it a like, let me know how it helped you, find that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.